Hello and welcome. I think we're about a week away from Christmas or 10 days or something. For those that celebrate it, we always have a very quiet one. So um, what's the best thing I can do is paint. I think I'll paint through Christmas. I mean, after I've seen my grandchildren and all the hullabaloo that Christmas causes. Um, but I hope that you guys don't overstress over it and that you find a little bit of time to uh, watch YouTube videos or go in your art room and paint um, because that's what I hope to do with my days over Christmas and the crazy um, craziness that my town gets in Christmas time packed with tourists um, crazy crazy so I just want to kick back relax and do some uh, pouring tipping swirling and swiping so here we go Rightio, I've just poured some kind of a donkey brown colour. I know it's not a, a Ubu colour, but I had it left. So I'm going to use it up. And then there was that sort of other oh, murky, fawny, browny colour. Um, so I thought I'll use them as my basis and it might actually turn out something really nice. So I didn't want to waste anything. So here I go. Now, and I'm using the metallic copper, and I'll explain as I go along. I'm basically going to do a ring pour in colours that I have left over. So, metallic copper, I'm giving it a good squirt of white in there, and my particular um, squirty duva is not playing nicely and it's um, blocking up, so I have to. Um, Give that some attention <laughs> so that's horrible when that happens but you just have to be patient and keep getting told be patient just push through so that's what I'm trying to teach you guys too to be patient <laughs> so this is the warm red and I'm just basically tipping it into that other two colors I'm not too um, as you see I'm swirling it in I, I'm not trying to do it all really down the side and um, I'm just putting it in there and that is a metallic gold which was 50% gold 50% silver makes a gorgeous um, champagne color so just loading my colors up and now I'm going in for the ring pour so I've done my ring pour and I'm going to yeah, give it a zoom over with my heat wand I don't use the butane torch, I use a heat wand, far less dangerous. Um, and it's, it bursts the air bubbles and brings up any cells, but this one I'm not after cells at all at this point in time. So I'm just going to gently uh, tilt this right around my canvas to um, cover the canvas before I go to my next stage. So my next stage, I'm going to get my colour art spatula, as you see, and I'm going to pour some of the um, lamp black with Floetrol. This gives me, this is the magic special effects um, ingredient. So I'm just going to pour some on the back. You can do it in any colour you choose. It would absolutely work out. But black is going to make those colours pop and the black basically disappears. So this is what I'm doing with this particular thing. And you see it, the gorgeousness that it brings up in the art. 
they're just giving it a little spread over the end you just to uh, make sure that it's um, equal amount on it I guess so here we go So as you can see, just look at that. It's just a gorgeous effect in there. It's really lovely, brings out cells. It gives it a 3D effect actually, like it looks as though it's floating, a uh, sort of lacy ribbon floating through the uh, ring pore. And I'm going in and doing a few more of these wherever I feel that uh, is the right place to do them. So look at those effects, it's really quite stunning. It's something um, I think is a very, a little bit different and I love doing it. It was um, very, yeah, it was nice to do. So I'm going to do, I think I've heard, they call it wrecking it, but I don't think it wrecks it. It just, I, I just say that it's embellished, embellished further. So it's just, some other points of interest and um, bring in your skewer that's all that is is just a skewer well actually that one is a chopstick so I'm chopsticking it I'm chopsticking it and I've got the thumbs up so I'm happy and I hope you like it too now for the close-ups wowzers trousers I'm so excited with this one look at the beautiful effects in it I mean, even just having the ring paw behind, I've left a tiny bit of negative space, but the effects, there's so much for the eye to go to. Of the ring paw behind with that swipe, the swipe was done with the black uh, Amsterdam paint and Aussie Floetrol. I already had these colours mixed up and I needed to use them. So that's the uh, warm red was, yeah, just gorgeous. So happy with that. Got to be happy with that. Happy Jan. So that piece, give it a go. And if you do, let me know on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. So appreciative of you all. Have a good holiday. Bye for now.